guys, welcome to my exhibition, Frozen Choices, Sacred Space. I'm Aiza Mohamed Paul, by the way, a photographer, obviously. <laughs> this piece is obviously way beyond photography and just like images. I shot this at a time where like, I believe everyone was on pause, so to say, during the lockdown. And for me, I really was at the point in my life where I felt like I was like trying to align things both spiritually, mentally and physically and today is beyond magical for me because I've always wanted to find a means to elevate humanity and for me this is like the first step to actually actualizing my goal. So for me I was shooting with the notion of elevating everyone who gets to see this image to make them feel good special and happy you know so this project actually means a lot to me and i hope you all do enjoy it first image titled it's enigma meaning brothers basically just talks about life and brotherhood it means as humans we all need that one brother two brothers three four that you can lean on trust love share everything with personally i related so much to this particular image because i come from a large family obviously and i have loads of brothers next up we have of your ovoka not the i can meaning boy next door. There's an image of a beautiful young black boy who is slightly older than the previous kids, sitting down wondering what's next, you know? This image um, depicts a life from a young point of view, but at the same time, a retired point of view. There's a kid viewing the world from a very a strange place, like he feels there's nothing out there and he's exhausted already. Next up is Ome Eko Nigogo, meaning Sad Strangers. <laughs> this image depicts the time in man's life where we feel we know nothing, but yet people assume you have to know something. So we have Itanikbia, Magari Rigbe. That's Brothers again. This is a particularly interesting piece to me because promote humanism basically but at the same time capitalize on individualism fountain of glory obviously man is feeling himself at this point woman has arrived with prosperity and grace next up we have woman again and this time around it's called okwo dameo means woman listen at this point woman is extremely pleased with herself and happy to have come to share man's burden and if you can see the images she's wrapped up with the fabric of life with so much ease and at peace with herself like she's happy to shed man's burden so next up we have Okpiano Kiemikwe meaning clocked man look at the image closely it's the most peaceful thing you'll find in this entire catalog if you had noticed the fabric changed after a woman came into the picture and man is fulfilled he's happy meaning we are humans they're wrapped up and very much nice to life and just like out there in search of a helper hope whatever it is we realized at the end that they actually gave into the world of frozen choices even before they became adults i think it's very much abnormal for us to criticize or chastise people who make decisions because in life we can never 
like assume on people's behalf or like live on people's dreams or something. You know, it's best we just accept people for who they are, what they are, and what they represent, and that way, I think humanity will be a better place. Hi, my name is Ima. I'm at ISIS exhibition, and it's really great and beautiful here. Um, this is my favorite piece, The Boy Next Door. I really love the colors and I love the depth in the boy's eyes and I love the story that it tells. Hello, my name is Stephanie. I'm at Isaiah's exhibition and this is my favorite place. Hi guys, my name is Enyola Shetty and I'm at Isaiah's art exhibition. My favorite place is the the woman, the influence of woman series. I just really love the way, the way the aesthetics and everything is. My name is Enotie Ogbebo and I'm an artist. Um, Isaac Mohamed Paul is my younger brother. Uh, as you can see, this is my favorite work here and it's titled Okwea no Yukmongwe. Translated in the Edo language to English, it means a man who is cloaked or who has covered himself with cloth. It's a metaphor for our lives when out of shame and out of dignity we have to cloak ourselves you know, for dignity's sake. Hi guys, thank you so much for coming. My name is Isa Mohamed Paul. This is my exhibition. My exhibition is titled Frozen Choices, Sacred Spaces. And it's basically just trying to highlight, like in life, how we humans get chastised for the most basic things. For me, I had to create images to tell a story how to navigate this life, basically, and also like how to be more receptive and receptive to people. I appreciate everyone that came through. I appreciate everyone that made today possible. AJK, the gallery owner, Ilay Ross, Florico Wine, Lon, Sands, my family, my friends, all my sponsors, Favor as well, who has been so glamorous in all of this. I thank you guys, King Model Production, for being the best ever. <laughs>